These are live visuals coming in from Mumbai. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu with Moshe Holzberg, who is the survivor of the 26-11 terror attacks that rocked Mumbai in 2008. These are live visuals from the Chabad House in Mumbai, where Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is currently meeting Moshe Holzberg, who is the survivor of the 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks, which happened in 2008. These are live visuals from the Chabad house in Mumbai where Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is currently meeting Moshe Holzberg who is a survivor of the 26-11 Mumbai terror attacks which happened in the year 2008. Moshe was two years old at that time when his parents were killed by terrorists in the Chabad house at Nariman Point. He was saved by his nanny Sandra. Nine years later, Moshe has now returned to the same Chabad house where the terror attack sniffed out his parents' lives. During his visit to Israel last year in July, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi too had met Moshe in Israel. Joining me on the broadcast is Vion's correspondent from Mumbai, Pragya Jha. Pragya, an emotional moment for Moshe visiting the Chabad house again and the Israeli Prime Minister is also meeting him there. Tell us more about it. We'll try, we are trying to reconnect with Pragya Jha. I believe Pragya Jha is with us on the phone line right now. Pragya, an emotional moment for Moshe visiting the Chabad house where his parents were killed nine years ago and the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting him at that very place. Tell us more about it. That's indeed correct. It's a very emotional moment for Moshe Holzberg, who was just two years of age when his parents were brutally killed by terrorists who had attacked uh, the Kabad House, which is a Jewish community center, uh, which was operated by them, his parents, uh, late uh, Rabbi Gavroyal and Sipa Holzberg. And uh, it, Moshe, who was two years of age, uh, was uh, taken away from that location where he, uh, where he was, uh, where he was sitting there between the uh, dead bodies of both his parents and his nanny, of course, in a very heroic instance. Uh, she, uh, she took him away to safety and ran away from the premises there, which was under siege. And that's how Moshe was saved back in 2008. And after nine years. 
Uh, today, as even the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, visits the Kabad house, it is indeed a moment where he will be remembering his parents. Of course, he doesn't have many memories at that time, but as he visited Kabad house, he got very emotional on the first day, and he knows the purpose of the house there. He knows uh, what actually happened there, and he also knows that how his parents served the community and uh, how they were always there when tourists from Israel uh, used to visit uh, Mumbai and they would stay there. Also, uh, he knows that how he was saved by his nanny. So, of course, today's day, uh, Prime Minister, along with Moshe, will be unveiling the 2611 Life Memorial at the Kabad House, which will forever, uh, you know, entrench the memories and forever be a tribute to those who lost their uh, lives, those who sacrificed their lives to the most dastardly uh, terrorist attacks that ever uh, the city of right. Mumbai. Requesting you to stay with us, Pragya, as we watch these visuals of Moshe Holzberg. Now reading out something at the Chabad house in the presence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Pragya, for a child his age, he's just 11 years old, uh, he must be feeling a little bewildered by all the attention he's been getting ever since he landed in India. Uh, has Moshe uh, talked about anything? Has he been uh, talking to the media or has he been allowed to say anything so far about how he's feeling to have returned to the place where his parents got killed nine years back? That's absolutely right. You that he, you know, Holmes has an expression, has an expression of uh, slight confusion, and uh, you know he he is bewildered all the time because of this, uh, the kind of media that's always surrounding him, the kind of media attention that's always surrounding him. In fact, uh, because the people here. Uh, you know, we as journalists really know what transpired, uh, you know, for those three days beginning from 26 November 2008 until 29, when all the terrorists were flushed out of those places where they had, uh, you know, where they had taken control of. Uh, so that's why we know that how significant it is, uh, you know, for Moshe to be visiting Mumbai. For he was one of the, he was indeed the youngest survivor of the 26-11 attack. But then uh, he, back there in his country, uh, you know, the media uh, does not always, you know, come there around him. But here for the media in Mumbai, it is a very special moment having Moshe in Mumbai here amongst all of us. Uh, so, of course, he feels a bit confused, bewildered at times, uh, but then he does realize that even with the Prime Minister coming to Kabad House, accompanying him and unveiling the 26-11 memorial, uh, right. which really reassures that uh, terrorism has no place in, in India, and so it does not have its place in Israel as well. On this front, both the countries uh, right. you know, have the common thought process. And uh, this is what uh, this, this amazing this event really signifies uh, for both countries. Right. We'll leave it at that for the moment, Pragya Jha. Thank you so much for joining us with those updates and perspective.